No, you look very sticky. I know, I took the subway here. My mom asked for your help. You helped us before, and we appreciate it, so I didn't help you. Well, with the money you graciously gave us, you helped us a ton. That was your father's last investment. I was instructed to cash it out and send it to his next of kin. That's you. My dad? I can only recall bits and pieces of him. I know. You're not missing out. So, Jeannie's in trouble. You want something from me? Why should I bother? We're family, aren't we? I always disliked your mother. Spoiled, selfish, and vain. Does the apple fall far from the tree? You look just like her. But I didn't look like myself. She wanted me to leave, but I couldn't. She was my only hope. I kept pestering and pleading with her for days, buzzing around her like a pesky fly. Finally, after what felt like forever, she talked to me. This used to be a hotel, you know. I took care of everything, and I was great at it. But it's hard for a person my age to manage everything around here. There's too much space and too many stairs. I have a few guests coming over, but I don't have much staff. I would like to see how useful you can be. Whatever you need, I can do it. I needed to win her over to save my mom, so I got to work by cleaning out the fireplace. Large chunks of ash rained down on me, covering the floor in a thick blanket of gray. Ugh, oh my god, what a mess. Leave this and go wash your face. And when I scrubbed the windows, one of the panes cracked and a large piece of glass fell. I caught the glass right before it hit the floor. Oh no, I heard some guests coming, so I quickly shoved the glass under the bedspread. A large, older man entered the room and plopped down on the bed. The glass made a large crunching noise and the man screamed. New sheets. You must need new bed sheets. I scampered out of the room and caught Aunt Lucy giving me the death stare. On the way to get new bed sheets, I bumped into a flower vase and knocked water everywhere. I sprinted off into the hall and grabbed the mop to clean. And then, thud, the rest of the guests slipped and fell. Oops, I think I forgot the wet floor sign. Ugh, it's gonna be one of those days. I totally screwed up, and I knew there was no way she'd forgive me. So I hid from her, and when she finally found me, I started bawling like a baby. She couldn't be mad at a sobbing girl, right? I could see her face soften, and I figured I had a chance to get on her good side. I tried to make up for all the mistakes I had made. I gave my aunt a foot massage, made her fresh juices and warm soup, and in my final efforts, I polished her dresser and found a music box. Don't break it. Oh, I wouldn't. I love it. I'm a ballerina too. Well, maybe. I used to be. You're a little young for used to be anything. For me, this ballet feels like... Aunt Lucy and I were finally talking, and it felt felt like the ice was melting. She told me how she used to be a dancer. When I was a baby, my dad would tell her all about how much I loved dancing. I finally got through to my aunt, but I still needed her help. I brought up how desperate I was to save my mom. I was wrong. You're not like your mother at all. Okay, enough of all this. Let's go. We took a car downtown and met my mom. What on earth happened, Jeannie? You are still as disappointing as ever. Ugh, oh, here we go. Why did you even bother to come here? You could have sent the money with Leah, but I guess belittling an innocent woman is more your speed. Aunt Lucy asked mom for her tax forms, but all she got was silence. Mom, just give her the paperwork. She'll help us. What's wrong with you? Okay, fine. I'll just leave. And then mom spilled the beans. She had con us. The cops were fake. The tax problem was fake. All a scheme to get money from Aunt Lucy. I can't believe this, Mom. How could you do this? I had to. The bank was going to take the apartment, so I had no choice. I was in debt and knew only you could convince your aunt. I'm sorry. I know I spent a little, but I spent on you too. And it was for us, right, Leah? It made you happy, right? You were happy, and that's what made me happy. But I'm behind on all of my classes. We're out of money, and we don't even have the apartment. And now, you're definitely not happy anymore, so I'm not happy, and and I don't see how I could ever become a dancer. Enough. Leah, you need to go to school and work on your studies. You want to be a ballerina? Yes, of course. Then you are coming with me. And Jeannie, you need to pay all of this off. You'll need a source of income to dig your way out of this. This is an impossible situation. I know I made a mistake, but I want to change, and I can't live without you, Leah. I had doubts, and I was furious, too. I even stepped outside with my aunt to leave. But then I realized I couldn't abandon my mom, not even after all the things she did. Okay, mom, I think we should try to be a family, all of us together. I believed that this time it was going to work out.
out, the three of us went back to the hotel and were ready to start our new lives together. But the next morning, Mom, I ran around the hotel but couldn't find my mom. Her clothes and purse were gone. I searched up and down until I got to the front desk. The cashier's box was completely empty. She left and took my Aunt Lucy's money. I was devastated. I brought her here and it all happened because of me. What should I do? I had brought on enough trouble and I had to earn and return every penny back to my aunt. Leah, are you leaving too? I'm so sorry, Aunt Lucy. I just wanted us to be a family. I don't want to cause you any more trouble. I thought it would be better if I just left. I'm so sorry about my mom. I wanted to believe that she would be different, but she wasn't. Just the same horrible, selfish woman. Leah, you don't have to go. It's not your fault. We're family. Sometimes the family you're given isn't the family you end up with. And that is okay. Really? Really, I love you. And I do have some good news. I made a few phone calls, and you have an audition next week. Oh, thank you. I love you too, Aunt Lucy. At the audition, I danced my heart out. And for the first time ever, I was supported and loved by my Aunt Lucy. And that sounds like the perfect kind of family to me.